click on up here where you see plus. When you click on the plus button, it takes you back to the projects. Um, okay. Now, if you have a look, you have three options to create a graphic, a web page, or a video. Um, in today's tutorial, I will just cover how you can create a web page. So let's go ahead and click on that. It's just the interface. I'll just talk you through this. Uh, top left, if you click on um, the Spark logo, that will actually take you back to the home page. You can see when it's grayed out when you hover your cursor over that, it turns yellow. Uh, up on the top, you have your settings. You, it's all grayed out now, so you can't actually click on any of these until we start creating it, okay? So you've got your settings, your preview, you've got to present a share. And then top right, you have themes, but we'll talk about that shortly. Now into this space here, um, it will literally guide you through and show you um, and tell you exactly what you need to do. So you can see add a title, subtitle, photo. So let's go ahead and click on photo. Okay, so if you have a look on the right hand side, um, this panel will pop out. You have an option to upload your own photos. Um, in today's tutorial, I'll just show you where we can just grab some free photos. Otherwise, you can buy some from Adobe Stock, get some from your Creative Cloud assets, or if you have photos in Lightroom, or you can connect to all of these external drives like Google Drive and Dropbox. Okay, let's go with find free photos. Um, I'll just type in flowers. Okay. You can see lots of beautiful images in here. These are all copyright free. Let's just go ahead and choose this beautiful purple one. And I'll go ahead and give it a title. So it's, again, it's just a fictional company. I'll just call it Rosie's. Rosie's Flower Shop. Okay, whatever. We'll just go with that. Uh, and then you can have a look here. Scroll to start writing a story. Okay, when you scroll down, you will see your well of options here. You can click to add a photo, text, a uh, button to link to a website. You can add embed videos here from Vimeo or YouTube or Spark Video. You can add a photo grid, a glide show, and a split layout. So I'll go through some of these here for you. So let's go ahead and click on glide show. Okay, so now in Glideshow, it's sort of like a um, PowerPoint slideshow. Okay, so it has a beautiful transition. I am actually going to put in bouquet. Okay, you can see many more options. Let's choose one, a wedding one, another one, a close up, and a third one. Okay. So let's say we have these three images here, okay? You have the option to click on, if you don't like any of these images, you just click your mouse on it and the whole image will highlight in blue. And then you have these options where you can replace the image or you can simply delete it or you can actually change the position as well if you want it to be the first photo, last photo, etc. Okay, let's say we're happy with all three. Let's click on the top right, click on save. Alright, so now we're back to this page here. If you have a look, um, it's already looking quite beautiful. I'm just scrolling through. You see this beautiful little transition here. So that's what the glide show does. Okay. Alright, so let's just go ahead and have a look here. You see this gray box. What we can do is when you hover your mouse and you see the four arrows, you can click and drag and drop that to the center to the right or originally to the left. Let's place this in the center. Okay, you see where it has a plus button? Go ahead and click on the plus button. When you do that, you have more options in here. Okay, so as I mentioned, it's super easy and it actually guides you through and shows you what you can do. Okay, let's go and add in a title. Okay, so when you add in a title, you can put in um, floral arrangements. Okay, let's say that's our text. When you've written your text, click on it once, okay, and you will have your text formatting options. Um, you can choose H1, which is heading 1, H2 for heading 2, and then you have your alignments here, let's align that to the center, or you have um, the option for the speech marks here, okay, just gives you a different look, or if you have bullet points or numbers, um, what you can do is highlight it, you can um, add a bold to it, make it italics, or you can also make it a hyperlink, okay? So what I'll do is I will just go ahead and make it a heading one for now and have it centered, aligned. 
Next, I will click on the plus button again. What I can do is uh, add another photo in here. So when I click on photo, you can see this free photos. Um, again, it pops out from the right hand side. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and choose a different image. But again, as I mentioned, if you click the back button, you can always upload your own photos. Okay. Let's just go ahead and choose one here. Okay, just using the free ones. And you can add a caption in here if you wish. And again, more plus buttons. So plus button, you can go ahead and add more text, another photo. Um, you can add a button. Okay, so you can pop in here. Um, wedding bouquets. And then you can link it to um, your e-commerce website, for example. Just pop in a generic website here and align it. Okay. All right, so that's a link. And as we scroll down here, so you get the idea, you can do the same for um, the second page and the third page. All right, so when you scroll down to the bottom, what you will see again, uh, same things, or gu guiding you through again, you can add another glide show. This time, maybe let's just choose a photo grid. Okay, so photo grid, I'll go ahead and choose more photos and I'll create a collage for you. Okay. So let's go choose one. So what you will see is as you add your photos, it will start creating a collage here for you. Another one. Let's choose a few. Another one. Four, five. Okay, let's just choose five. Okay. And same thing again when you have... Um, you select on any of the photos, gives you the option to replace it. So we can replace this one here if we wish. Okay, so that changes that. You can make this the large photo if you wish, or you can click on it again to make it the small photo. You can see this whole um, collage has rearranged itself. Maybe I'll make this one a large photo. Okay. All right, let's say we're happy with this top right. Click save. Okay. And then what you have here, you can add a caption. You can see all of these are your thumbnails. And I will show you when we look at the live preview, how when you click on these, they will enlarge to a larger photo. Okay, so you get the idea. Keep scrolling and you can just keep adding to this. All right. And then as I mentioned, uh, we have themes on the top right. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just scroll back all the way to the top. So this will just illustrate this better. Uh, click on themes and choose one. Um, of the generic templates. You can see when you click on any of these, the text will change here. And you will see the text has changed here too. Okay. So let's go ahead and say we're happy with this. We can go ahead and click on the top right. Click on share. Let's go ahead and click on publish and share link. All right. So what we can do here is give it a title. Okay. You can choose a category. So let's say there's a business. Okay. You can choose to turn um, the offer on or off, okay? Well, I'll just keep it off for now. And photo credits, we can remove that if you wish, okay? And when you click on Get Notice, that will just basically um, show up on Adobe Spark um, homepage if you wish, okay? Then create link. Okay, you can see now you have a public link. So let's go ahead and copy that. Okay, you can see this beautiful web page we, which we have created within minutes. And then you remember we had created this link, okay, wedding bouquets, but I just popped in Google. And you can see the beautiful transition, another beautiful transition here. And then we added this little photo grid, okay, so when you click on it, as I mentioned, so these are your thumbnails and the collage. It will enlarge that for you and you have your arrow cues here and you can flick through um, these photos here. Okay, you can click on the top right and cross that. Okay, so let's just go back to our edit page here. Let's close this. What you have also is you can go ahead and click on preview or you can click on present and that just takes it to full screen mode. Okay. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, be sure to check it out. And as I mentioned, I'll just link, uh, put in the link in the description below on how you can use Adobe Spark video. Thanks all. Bye.